morning, everybody. This is why I tell everybody not to use acid. It's not that acid can't be used in polishing. I know a lot of guys that are using it and using it properly. But the problem for me is that most people are using the wrong acid and they don't know how to use it properly. So if you don't know how to use it properly or you don't know what kind of acid to use, you just don't because you're gonna end up making a ton more work for yourself. Because this grill that could have been a 10, 15 minute fix is now gonna take an hour to fix. It's not gonna be awesome. And you don't wanna give yourself more time, especially if you're gonna be doing this for a business. The last thing you wanna be doing is adding more time to your day. These wheels, I could have polished that in about three minutes without acid. But since it's got acid on it, it's gonna take me at least 15 minutes a wheel. And don't even get me started on these wheels because now those acid streaks are etched in there so bad, I'm gonna have to pull them off, sand them, and throw them on our wheel machine. You can pull them off, sand them, run them with a grinder too. I don't care which way you do it, but for us, the machine's faster. But not knowing the right product to use could cost your shop, or if you're just doing it on the sides, you personally, extra hours in your day that you just don't need. Try buffing it first without using acid. If you have to use it, use it properly and use the right kind. Don't ask me, I don't know what the right kind is. But there's guys out there that know. Ask around, you'll find out. And take these wheels like this. The trailer was just like this, so let me go back there and show you what the trailer looks like now. Yes, those were peat ovals, and these wheels are rounds. That doesn't really matter. The quality of the aluminum is still the same. But these wheels looked exactly like those. They got rained on last night, so they're covered in gravel dust. But Those wheels will look just like these when they're done. 